Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time to talk about the Schreder Teseo fixture. So the Schreder Teseo is argu arguably the uh, most popular LED fixture in Europe. Um, it's been popping up in pretty much all of the countries. I've seen it in uh, Italy, Germany, England and all that kind of And pretty much in most countries in Europe and um, that's for good reason because it's a... Uh, very simple LED fixture and it does the job quite well. So it's been made as I said before by Schreda which is one of the biggest uh, fixture producers nowadays and one of the most important. And probably their most important fixture is this fixture too. Um, it has two generations. This is the first generation which has been around uh, I believe before 2015 actually um, and this one is also the first generation but it's not as old as uh, 2015 and we have now a we now have a second generation as well um, so pretty interesting isn't too different from this fixture I mean the for example the Philips Iridiums which will again have the fourth generation because I got a different one in the next collection video those are quite di uh, different um, depending on the generation, but these really aren't. So yeah, it's the Seo. Um, you have three sizes, which this one is the middle. Um, the biggest version actually is quite bad in my opinion. It has a lot of uh, LED and driver faults because it doesn't really have that proper cooling, which is a this fixture doesn't have either. But since these LEDs aren't uh, using too much power and not getting too hot, it, they work fine. And this fixture came from uh, a pole crash, which um, the spitter broke off, which as you can see, it's still broken, but um, still safe for you should use it outside of the garden and in, in the collection since the spitter won't fall off or anything, but um, due to uh, winds and everything outside they it could be so that's why they replace this one with a new one outside of that it's working fine it's uh, quite heavy i think it's uh, around 10 kilos and it's a very easy to uh, place fixture because it's just has a very simple spidget which works on most poles so um we have 32 LEDs in here, um, yeah I had to count that because I didn't know, and let's open the fixture itself, which uh, it's been, the top has been held together by two screws right here, which you have to unscrew a bit, not too much, and uh, then it all will open, very simple system, but um, since these screws are on the top, you sometimes have that they uh, rust extra easily and then you can't really open the fixture itself up which is kind of kind of stupid when you want to replace the driver or anything but yeah um, it has quite a new uh, new driver and everything inside we have a 75 watt Phillips driver and on the sticker right here we can actually see the production date uses uh, 36 watts and here we have the uh, production date which is 2018 means this thing is uh, four years old which is not too old and uh, wiring did that myself right here and apart from that everything is original to the fixture so quite nice As you can see this uh, thing has been hanging on the cable that's why this is bent right here but yeah, this is what it looks when it's opened. So let's close this fixture again. Which I won't screw them too tight since you never really know if you can open this thing again. But yeah, it's uh, not the worst LED fixture existing. Even though they've ruined a lot of streets, I still kind of find them to be tolerable so let's flip the fixture and actually uh, turn this thing on so yeah let's turn the uh, fixture on the 
which is quite bright. Um, don't know on which road it used to be. Probably uh, quite busy road since it's hard to actually look uh, inside of it. But yeah, it's warm white, which is nice. Um, as you can see, light quality itself is quite good. Nice color temperature. Yeah, outside of that, since it's LED, there's not much more to say about it. It's not really a vibe or anything. <laughs> yeah, just a pretty solid fixture overall. Nothing too special. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.